Hey, this is Nick from Income Digs with a quick video to show you the difference between cash and accrual accounting in QuickBooks. This is one of the most common questions I get, whether you're a real estate investor, a builder, or a bookkeeper for either. Understanding the differences between accrual and cash accounting is really, really important. We dive into this in great detail in our end-to-end -end course, Real Estate Accounting Bootcamp. Definitely check that out. But again, quick hitting. This is relatively simple, but sometimes it takes a really good demo to see how it really works. So let's get into it here today. Cash versus accrual accounting. What is it? And what do we choose and how do we make it work for our business? So generally, it's a preference and it's a preference question. So do we want to use accrual-based accounting or cash-based accounting? It really depends on how we want to operate our business. That being said, we almost always use a cash basis for tax reporting. Good news, QuickBooks makes this easy. This differs in which and when we recognize revenue and expenses. Okay, that's all we're doing here. Accrual-based accounting, we say we get a bill, we recognize that expense. Cash-based accounting says not until we pay that bill do we recognize that expense. On the same token, accrual-based accounting, I invoice a customer, I recognize that revenue the day I invoice a customer. Cash basis, I don't recognize that revenue until I receive the payment. So you can understand why taxes are done with cash, it's easier to track. Accrual-based accounting, I can set a bill date, I can set an invoice date to whatever I want it to be and recognize that revenue or expense for my own bookkeeping. But for taxes, something that can be audited, cash-based accounting is really the only way uh, to make it accountable. All right? The good news for us here is that QuickBooks does the work for, it, for us and makes it easy to toggle. We can run our business in one and then toggle to the other if we ever want to see it. All right? I'm going to show you that right now in QuickBooks. All right? So to demonstrate this, I've got this super simple balance sheet with nothing on it except for cash in the bank and some equity. Okay, so let's play around with accrual versus cash-based accounting. I got this toggle button up here, all right? Now, <clears throat> this transaction is not gonna change, cash versus accrual. Really, the only accounts that change a lot, cash versus accrual, is revenue, expenses, accounts payable, accounts receivable. I'm gonna show you that. Now, you can set your defaults on cash versus accrual in your settings, okay? And you can do that, and this should you should be set up whatever makes the most sense for you. I use accrual because I use bills, I use invoices, so accrual makes the most sense for me. Again, it makes it easy for us to toggle, so it's not a big deal if we pick one or the other. So to demonstrate this as clear as can be, what I'm gonna do is just create a bill. All right, now a bill is gonna to be to a vendor, okay? And I'm just gonna put in just some blank information or some some kind of standard information here let's say i have a five thousand dollar bill that's owed to this vendor okay and <clears throat> i can put in some customer and class info all right my bill date let's just put the bill date of december 11th 2024 and let's put the due date of january 1st okay and i'll save and close that transaction so what does that do to my balance sheet Okay, I haven't paid that bill yet. Notice what it does. It gives me accounts payable here and it gives me a net income. All right, that makes sense, right? We, we created that bill. We're in accrual-based accounting. We recognize that expense. That's a negative net income. Now, when I toggle this to cash, what do we expect to happen? As far as cash accounting is concerned, this bill doesn't really exist. It's got a date on it, but it hasn't been paid yet. So when I run a cash-based report, it falls off completely. That makes sense, right? Pretty simple. All right, let's talk about paying this bill. Now, paying the bill, that's where it can potentially start to get a little confusing, frustrating, let's see. Okay, let's pay this bill. And whether or not you use cash or accrual, you can still use the bill pay features, right? Um, it's just accrual-based, you're probably gonna be using it a little bit more. I'm gonna mark this bill as paid as of a certain date. Let's say that I pay this bill on, uh, let's see, the 26th of December, $5,000. Let's save and close that. I don't know if I had to make it 5000 All right, let me refresh my balance sheet. Accrual-based accounting, okay? Accrual-based accounting, I still got the net income there, and my checking account has been emptied. I no longer have $5,000 in it. Accounts payable goes to zero as well. All right, that makes sense, right? What happens when I move to cash-based accounting? Well, the accounts payable just goes away. Accounts payable is just always gone. It, is, it doesn't exist in cash-based accounting. So it goes away, but nothing else really changes. That net income is recognized because that bill was paid. Okay, now here's where it gets potentially confusing. The date of that payment is important. Okay, so if we look at this payment, this bill payment, and went away here, let me grab it from here. 
All right, we look at the date of this bill payment and actually, let's open this up into a separate tab here. I'll grab my balance sheet over here as well. So here's my bill payment. I'm gonna dive into this thing right here. What if I paid the bill on January 1st, 2025? Let me save that. Okay, January 1st, 2025. And now if I'm doing my report as of 12-31-2024, what do I expect to see here? As of 12-31-2024, that bill has not been paid yet. I'm in cash-based accounting. That bill has not been paid yet. Therefore, it doesn't show up in net income. Accrual-based accounting, I'm going to see accounts payable there in my net income. All right, let me again toggle back to cash. Doesn't exist. What happens when I forward this date by one day, 1-1-2025? Well, I'd expect to see that bill paid, right? Run that report, and there it is, it's gone. Okay, so that's what's going on here. It's really just about dates and whether we're recognizing or not, recognizing, in this case, expensive. Income is the same way, so invoices and payments on invoices are the same exact thing. All right, let's do a new invoice. All right, I'm gonna do this invoice to, let's see, let's do Juliet. Okay, we're gonna do it as of 1226. The due date, by the way, doesn't matter. The due date matters for your customer and whether they're late or not, but it doesn't matter for the reporting, okay? Uh, so let's say that uh, Juliet owes us for rent, $950, okay? Let me just, I think that's it. That's all I need to do. I'm just gonna save and close this. I'm not doing class tracking right now, just for this, these purposes here. Let's go back to accrual-based accounting. Let's go back to 1231 2024. Okay, so accounts receivable right here and revenue. Notice that my net income has changed based on the fact that we're recognizing this revenue on the date that the invoice was sent. I haven't been paid for it yet, but I'm in accrual based accounting. I'm going to recognize that revenue. As soon as I move to cash, that goes away. Doesn't exist yet. Okay. So again, cruel-based accounting, we see it. Cash-based, we don't. Let's get paid for this invoice. Okay, so I'm gonna get paid, and this is gonna operate just similar to, here we go, receive payment. So I'm gonna get paid, and this is gonna operate just similar to go receive payment similar to the bills the date I received the payment let's say right now it's 12 26 I'm gonna move this right over here okay let's say that's 12 26 I'll get my balance sheet over here let's just save this okay I've received the payment accrual based accounting accounts receivable just goes away to zero and I've got cash in the bank cash based accounting Kind of the same thing. I, I now can recognize that income here, okay? So we see that starting to take place, all right? Pretty simple. Now let's do one different thing here. What I wanna do is change the date of this invoice. I'm gonna change the date of this invoice to be January. This happens often with rental properties. So we have a January invoice that gets paid early. I wanna show you what happens with that. So I'm gonna save that invoice and uh, let's go to the payment as well. And I'm gonna change the date of the payment to happen, and, and it is actually in December. So let me show you what happens with this. We're gonna refresh this here. I've got 950 in net income, watch this. Let's drill down into this $950 in net income. Unapplied cash payment income, what's going on here? is QuickBooks has received cash, but the invoice doesn't exist until next year. So it's not putting this toward revenue. It doesn't know where to put it yet. So you're probably gonna be getting this, either on the unapplied cash payment income or, or unapplied cash bill payment. What's happening is we've either received payment for something that wasn't due yet, or we've paid for something that wasn't due yet. So similar to the invoice side, if I go to the bill side, Okay, let's have my bill payment happen in December, but my bill happened in January.
So this really comes to light when we're doing taxes, we're doing end of year stuff, right? And let me just refresh my balance sheet here. So as of the end of 2024, I've paid a bill that wasn't due yet. Okay, I'm going to incur that expense, but that expense doesn't really know what it was yet. It doesn't know what was repairs and maintenance yet. So we get unapplied bill payment. So whenever we pay early or get paid early on a cash basis, that's what we're gonna see. When we move to accrual, we don't have that problem at all. It's gonna zero out because those bills are not until January of the next year. They don't exist yet. But because they've been paid, cash-based reporting, we recognize both, all right? So if you're seeing unapplied cash payment income or unapplied cash bill payment expense, this is what it's being created from. We've either paid a bill early or we've gotten paid for an invoice early. Now, this isn't a big deal, okay? Sometimes it can be hard to like categorize it to the right properties and it's gonna carry forward to next year. So there's always like a rolling thing. Like if I, if I don't recognize the revenue this year, I'll recognize it next year. Okay, so that's why it's important to manage our cash at the end of the year. If we want to pay bills ahead of time to limit our, our tax, uh, you know, or to increase our deductions, go ahead and do that. You're going to get that credit. You're going to get that deduction. If we don't necessarily want to recognize revenue, we got to maybe not cash those checks until the 1st of January. Okay, this is how it all works. Cash versus accrual. It's not super difficult. If you're having trouble with it, do what I did. Fast forward or go way back in time to just play around with balance sheets in QuickBooks. When there's nothing here, it's really easy to play with, okay? Create a balance sheet. You could create a balance sheet as of like 2010. There's probably nothing on there for your books, right? So go here, go to, um, or go standard, go to a balance sheet, and just go to like super old dates, 1-1-2000, one, one, 2000, 2000, right? To 12-31-2000, okay? Because that's gonna be empty, Save that report and then play around with transactions to see how it all works. I'd love to know your comments, your questions, what's been confusing you about this. Again, we have plenty of free resources available at IncomeDigs.com and our end-to-end -end course, Real Estate Accounting Bootcamp. We'd love to see you there and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.